All right, welcome to the second review of the evening. Up this time is Ruiner Victory. Ruiner Victory is a modern take and evolution on the classic RTS genre with added detail, continuity, uh, and strategic depth while remaining accessible and well-paced. Devise your strategy, manage and expand your economy, and choose your warrior's equipment and tactics. Um... Right, so this game was given to Petty for review, so over to him. Um, is this game the classic RTS Evolve? Um, it's dense like a classic RTS, but I wouldn't say Evolved. Honestly, it feels more like a backstep. Huh. Go on. Um, uh, honestly, it's just, you know, if you like RTS games, you might like this. If you don't like RTS games, there's nothing that would make you like an RTS here. I know, the thing that's really striking me is how, to be blunt, ugly everything looks. Mm -hmm. It is ungodly ugly, and your tutorial how to play thing, the font they use is bordering on illegible. Yeah. Jeez. When Comic Sans would be an improvement, it, you might re-examine your font choices. Yeah. I mean, Google has... I assume the intent is to look like... Yeah, it, they wanted to use an old-timey old script, but it's just that's bad. Because that's also the reason why the background is all fucking parchment colored. Yeah. Like, I get the design idea here, but it's just not good. Mm. So I suppose this does beg a question from my end, and that is, uh, how well-versed are you on classic RTS? Like, did you play the Warcrafts and the Command and Conquers back in the 90s or I whatever? I did, but, like, at least um, War not really Warcraft, but I played Starcraft. I know that's an entirely different breed than what this is. Mm. The, the point is, you do have the frame of reference they're going for. Yeah, I think. I mean... Honestly, this looks more like a spiritual descendant of something Microprose would have put out. Maybe. Um, you know, something a lot more dry and military history oriented. Mm hmm. I could see that. Yeah. And, like, at least they do the thing where. If you zoom in, the cursor zooms in on your mouse. Because there have mm. been many, many RTS games that didn't do that, and that's bad. <laughs> yeah, zooming in on the center of the screen when the mouse is not in the center of the screen is as is, is, is a bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Sergeant, specifically the Game Boy Color. That would be Warlocked. The incredibly obscure... RTS game published by Nintendo. You know, I only remember it because it's an RTS game on the Game Boy Color. It kind of sticks out. The, arguably the absolute least suited platform ever for an RTS. I'd say the original Game Boy would be that. You know. Okay, yeah. Did they ever put one on the original Game Boy, though? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, two buttons and a D-pad plus start and select is, is, uh... I mean, points for making it happen? I've heard good things about it, but I never got around to playing that one. Anyway. It just requires extreme, non-traditional thinking. Well, I mean, clearly... Anyway, getting back to Ruin or Victory here. Mm -hmm. Like, if someone were versed in the, you know, into the mechanics and nomenclature of RTSs, would they be able to pick this game up? Probably. But it's definitely one of those, it's, this isn't very beginner friendly. 
as many RDS as are not. Yeah. And yeah, that's kind of really all I got. Like, it's hard to really review this because, you know, it's definitely not my cup of tea. Mm. It's also sounding dense enough where a time investment would be needed. A time and also, let's be frank, an interest investment. Yes, I suppose that is um, true as well. Yeah. Because, like, you know, I could have played this for another week and still had problems, you know, getting invested in it. I mean, it does look as compelling as a saltine cracker. Uh huh. Which, you know, to be fair, is some people's preferred snack food. Yeah. Oh, that's copper. Yeah, some <laughs> of these, the um, whole. Oh, it's copper. I thought that was an enormous, an enormous ingot of creamsicle. You're not, you're not alone in that. But yeah, this is definitely a game for people who like RTS. Like, I know, I know it feels like I'm kind of harking on that, but it's like, if you don't like RTS, you're not going to like this. Like, it's it's plain and simple. Hmm. So, any other questions or comments or concerns from you guys, or...? No, I, th I think we got what we uh, were able to get. Hmm. Like, it's very unfortunate... But I'm sure there are some RTS fans out there who might enjoy this. Yeah. Anyway, so in terms of pricing, it's fourteen ninety nine. Uh, again, if you're a fan of RTS, you probably already have this. I wouldn't necessarily uh, state that because you know this Fair. isn't. You know, this isn't like Command and Conquer. The next yeah, that is or... valid. But like, if you if you are a fan of RTS, eh, fifteen dollars, sure. Mm -hmm. If you're not a fan of RTS, I would suggest looking elsewhere as your first fix, because this one's definitely not it. Hmm. Fair enough assessments, I think. Right then, so anything else on Ruin or Victory? Uh, no, I think I'm good. You're right, that was a short one. Like, anyway, um, so yeah, that'll about do it for Ruin or Victory here. Uh, be sure to tune in after the break as Galax reviews Rogue. And yes, it is that rogue. 